got our yellow root, the Xanthoriza simplicissima, um, harvested, and we're going to wash it to prepare it to put in the dryer. Any of those that still have leaves remaining, I'm going to trim those off and put them into the next basket. And as we're trimming, a lot, of, a lot of times the dirt is being dried from the time you've gone from the yellow root bed up. So even if you'll just move them around a little bit in your hand, you can knock some of that loose soil off of there. Because all we're really trying to do, we don't want to submerge these in water. We just want to get the dirt off of there because they're going to be value added. They're going to have a kill step when you make the tea. So uh, just so we have good, good potable water when we wash, this water's been tested with uh, zero E. coli, is what we test for in uh, the generic E. coli. So I know that there's good water. So you know, even if you wash these in the creek, as long as you know you've got a really clean stream and you're out in the woods when you're gathering this, wash them with potable water when you get back home. You get all of the dirt material out of it. And once I've washed them really good, clean them up, and I put them in a clean, sterile container. And we want no dirt on there if you, at all, because once we get the, so you're gonna have to rub with your fingers a little bit. You can notice that that one has a good rhizome on the bottom. And you can see the difference in the rhizome in the top now that we've cleaned it. So it is time consuming. It takes some time to get this done but uh, you'll get paid a good top dollar if you've got a good quality product. So we finished washing our Xanthoriza or yellow root and we're getting ready to set it out for drying. And there are a number of different ways you can dry. So I brought up a small batch of this um, washed root um, to show an air drying technique. Spread them out on the tray. just so the air can get, get through them. Sometimes about twice this amount is about all you'd want on this size, size of a tray. If you're going into a dryer, it'd be much better if you had a screen to where the air can flow through it. But uh, when I'm air drying, I'll be laying this on top of an area in my barn. I have a small barn and then the air can get it from the top. Another way to dry this would be in like a commercial dehydrator, um, you know, kind of the stacking models. So there are many ways to dry it, and again, that drying time will be different depending on your method. Air drying is going to take a bit longer. Yep. Sometimes 24 to 48 hours if you have it in a nice dry, warm spot. You don't want to heat this up at all because you don't want to change the components in the yellow root. You want to dry with just straight air. All right, so our Xanthoriza simplicissima has come out of the dryer and we are ready to prep it to send to our buyer. Now some buyers will want the whole plant with the rhizome, stem, and the leaves. Other buyers are looking at just the stem and rhizome, which is what we have here um, from harvesting. And from that 1,200 square foot plot, which is about 30 feet of creek bank, uh, we're looking to get about $300 to $500 in this instance um, at the retail prices that we have found with our buyer. So again, here it is out of the dryer and one way to test that it's fully dry is to snap it and you want a good clean break. There's a good snap, you can hear it and you can also see that rich yellow color coming from the active constituents in it. I'm going to take um, a clean, um, sharp tool. This isn't the same one that I would harvest with, but a clean, sharp tool. And we are looking to break these down into five inch stem sections, stem and rhizome. So we've measured this one, and I'll use that as my ruler as I'm going along. I'll line it up, and I'll cut. And then we'll do it again. And if you have any of these side shoots, you can use those as stems as well. And where we have extra, we'll put those in a separate pile because we can use those in, in another value added product or for our personal use. And now you can see we have a, almost a full bucket full of five inch stems.
So now that we've cut our, our stems and rhizomes of the yellow root down to five inches, we are gonna do a bundle. And that's one particular small value added thing you can do to really capture a retail price. So the buyer that we're selling to, she'll buy and she sells in her store and to other vendors. And that once it's in a bundle of um, five stems, so there are five five inch stalks here, that will be a finished product. So we will stack those up and she'll pay per bundle for those and then pass those on to her customers. One reason they do that at five inches is because that is what this person's idea of one cup of tea is. So this will go for five cups of tea.